Uh, sasa nataka tuanze kwenye safari ya, ya baada ya Mona Lisa. Eh, maisha yakaanza and then you became a huge star. Sawa? Na dread zako, video kali, lyrics kali, everybody knew your name. Maisha hayo sasa nataka tuyazungumzie. How was life then? Yaani yalibadilika kiasi gani kutoka kukaa kwenye bench tukitoka kufanya sundown na tunaenda zetu tunakaa kinondoni kwa masaa matatu afikia mtu anachukua daladala anaenda kwao mpaka kuanza kuchukua ndege unaenda Nairobi unaenda Uganda unaenda wapi unaenda wapi? How was that? And from from the radio baada ya kukutana na Mona Lisa Bangera she introduced me to this producer from UK anaitwa Amit Menta. He was an Indian, like in so I know you attend a lot of you know I'm yeah. it. So Mona Lisa told me like, yeah, you have to meet my friend Amit from UK. He's a producer. I know you like singing. So Mona Lisa again introduced me to the producer who end up made my album. And that guy I can send him kataba kana album yako ita garimu million tatu na laksita. So you give me million tatu na laksita, I give the album out to peleke kwa mwindi and ipate me million tatu na laksita so back in za kwako. So the guy I can sign it and can record the album like two months. Mm-hmm. Pale, pembeni pale. Mm-hmm. Um, that's when everything started to change. It can start to fold and fold. It can start to become something that's real. And the cast an album, mkononi. Kazi ni kwenye na enda na kana na fikiri ya album na imuzafib. Na fanya vipindi na kini ya kile yangu haipo pale. Okay. Umenelewa? Nika kutana jama mungi na ito Gardner G. Gardner bada kumsikilizisha single ya kwanza na ito Mrembo. Mm-hmm. Nika msikilizisha na ito Siamini. Haka nambia, oh my God, hii ni noma. Tuende kwa mwindi. You sell this thing. Bati nzuri ni katua na zeze. Nika shindu wa kuenda tena kufanya kazi za radio. Wakanita, wakanabeba na chako iche hapa wewe, endelea na kazi zako. Uja kuja miezi miwi di radio. What do you expect? Nelishindo kuibalance. Kwa hiyo shawa ikufukuzwa kazi mzee wako? Ile kama nimefukuzwa au amenifanyaje? Wanipika redundancy. <laughs> Ile ni redundancy. <laughs> Alafu by that time alikuwa hapo Mona Lisa ameshaondoka. Kwa the head of the uh, radio alikuwa ni Dativa Mangu. Dativa akaniita tu pembeni akalemwa sikiza mshikaji wangu fanya mambo mengine. Tuache tu. Nahitaji sana uwezi kukosa kuja radio mwezi mzima. Hmm. Wakanipa na cha kwangu. It was a fair deal. Unajua eh? Pale sasa imagine paranja. imagine nasubiri hela ndogo nakati nikiitwa tu Nairobi ni kila mwewe nachukua dola 3000. Afu dola 1500 kwenye mavazi. <laughs> yani wewe jamaa. <laughs> say this life was very good back then. You know what I'm saying? Eh? Yeah. It was fantastic. So that's when it started to change. Nikaona ah, nataka come on I'm the hero. You can't touch me. Mimi natakiwa tu nitulize akili mtengeneze muziki for real kabisa because i got the voice and i have the talent mimi nasikitikia watoto hawa wadogo wanaimba nyimbo zao kwenye stage unaweza kusema hii nyimbo yake kweli wewe because they put a lot of effects they don't have the powerful voice lakini si wakatai because of the technology technology merahisisha maisha imeraisisha maisha hata wana muziki ambao sio wana muziki wa kweli wao kazi yao tu kuuza image nini au hivyo bwana mambo mengi mtu anajifanya kila sana cheka nini unajua eh kuna muziki yale wana wana muziki nyimbo yake haimbi kama nyimbo yake kama nyinyi anaipiga wana muziki anaimba karaoke nyimbo yake tupa get out of here mtoto mdogo uko vizuri sana. Uko vizuri. Ulikuwa unaendeleza kunipa story lakini, si ndio? Mm, story ile nataka niendelee sana. Nataka uendelee kwa sababu ni my favorite part of your life. Ni kweli kabisa na nakwambia this thing was very very big to me. Imagine from the radio presenter na kwenda East Africa you because wa Kenya they know they know the business and entertainment. I say okay trend Kenya you got the attention you are a star wa Tanzania tulikuwa juu kumtreat star wake vizuri unapokuwa na malemozi na champagne the medias were all over there they have they create this buzz ambayo unaweza sasa mimi ndio star kweli ukija Tanzania ba alidi anakuomba amna hata mtu anakuomba imagine there was nobody anaomba autograph 
Nili sign an autograph paka mkono kataka ku paralyze. I was like guys I can't do it anymore. I need a break. Cut. Ken hapo ukifika Dar es Salaam watu alidi job. Wewe alidi wafu unajifanya mjanja au makuwa na nyimbo zako star. Nimepangwa Mungu because na kipaji. You need to appreciate. That's a man that already you present akikuchukia akakuchukia ana kuua kwenye kipindi. Akumweleza. Anunua baluni nua baluni moja. Kanunua baluni lake anapita akafunga vio. Mtu kwenye kipindi afa anapiga na tangazo. Ah, oh my god. Ile ile mwana Sasa nikiwa Nairobi I work with the best. Napiga simu moja bwana Teddy Jozana nataka kupiga video kali sana. Ananiambia mwana hilo dola 6000. Tunaenda Lake Magadi. Tuna rent kule like a, a two apartment. I give you a catalog you choose of models, the more expensive models the, the more viral it will go kwa sababu ya kuwa na watu ambao wanajulikana na ni wazuri. Sasa budget zote mkubwa wa kazi nakubali twenzetu twenzetu kazi. Mm. Ndio maana mngoma kama Asha watasema sana watasema sana imesukuma two awards in one night nilikuwa na wakubwa wote wa kazi tulienda si professor Jay nani sister Jide watu wote walikuepo wakubwa wa kazi nikaenda nikarudi nikachukua awards mbili nika, and it was so excited and the moment siyawe kufeel ni ule nakabizwa awards mbili nchi ya watu mm. with a tune i did in the country ili kufanya udate unafikiri ili kufanya lose focus pengine cause maybe haukuwa tayari um kama nilivyokuambia management ni kitu kizuri sana and by that time tulikuwa hatuna proper management and people didn't take this thing very serious no yet my endorsement deal yameanza to use it to watu baada ya kuwa na viewers wengi kwenye Instagram sikufanya nini kufanya nini lakini back then tulikuwa kidogo kama tulikuwa tuna because the music was good and everybody could resist it. Mnelewa, mm. you can't help it. Wimbo kama sura yako. Kila mwanamke Kenya si sura yako, wewe ni sura yako. Unajifanya handsome kama Johnny Bravo na kuja hivi. Si sura yako ikaka. It's just a song, guys. Unajua <laughs> <laughs> yeah. unafanya creativity flani inaingia kwenye roho za watu, kwa hiyo watu wanashindwa na kuita wanakuitaji ungetamani pengine ungezaliwa kwenye kizazi hiki ambacho kiko saizi kwenye Instagram na na YouTube views zinalipio au you okay na part ambayo uli play pengine ndo ambayo imefanya hawa ambao wana wana viewers za YouTube na na Instagram waishi you are very right i kama ulivyosema kama sio the first artist to blow up East Africa wengine ndo wakanya kina Mr. Nice, Mr. Bad, Mr. Whatever. Lakini yeye yeah, amefungua milango. Nimo inspire. Vijana wakaangalia nimefanya video UK, nimefanya video wapi? Back then Paris was bigger than the reality. Salama you know that. Mhm. Mimi mwenyewe nimefika Nairobi nimekuta kuna kuna duka linaloitwa Tamasha album yangu imebandikwa ile ile ambayo Mamu Store. Alafu Mamu Store mwenyewe amenipa mkataba anasema hii album ya sauti ya dhahabu inatakiwa iuzwe tu ndani ya Tanzania. Nimefika Tamasha pale tukataka kuleta ugomvi nini. Unajua tena I was so young and I was confident nilikuwa nacheza sana taekwondo. Nikataka kuleta chaos ambayo alikuwa ina mpango wote. So akapitwa na manager nini wakatukia kama and there was a commotion. Kenya kila kitu mabuzz. Tukaongea. Wakasema yeah sisi mnatulaumu mbure tumezinunua hizi GMC Tanzania mm. tumezileta hapa hizi CD tunaziuza nitawafanyaje mm. ni GMC ndo kawauzia GMC namuuliza anasema hapana hayo ni Pirates baba unajua <laughs> hii Pirates TID sasa gonga copy nyingine hizi 500 zimeingia so okay whatever the copies okay <laughs> so master. you're cool kwamba ulikuwa umezaliwa kipindi kile Pirates ilikuwa ni mbaya chakula vipi au kinywaji kwanza Hebu nite kinywaji kwanza tupige piga story. Sasa hii chakula is unresistible. <laughs> Unaweza kuendelea nacho pia. Hapana, wewe ni kujibu jibu lakini nani Jessica ni wewe huyo? <laughs> okay. Sasa mimi nakula ilala chef. Hiyo ni ilala? Ndio, hiyo ni kalamari makani. Asante, nashukuru sana. Asante, kinywaji kinakuja. Let's do it. Okay. Um 
drugs. Yes. Um I think ni miaka miwili iliyopita. Wewe ulikuwa ni mmoja kati ya watu ambao waliingia kwenye matata. Na then aliyekuwa mkuu wa mkoa huu mji. It was crazy. Kwa sababu jina lako sio jina pekee ambalo lilitajwa. Mm, yeah. Ile ilikufanya ujisikiaje? That that was like mtu anakurudisha uh, five step back. Because you created this legacy ambayo people believe you are a good actor ni kio cha jamii unajua na muziki zamani wanaitwa kio cha jamii. Ni anyway, wewe watu wanakuona ni mtu mwema, mtu mzuri. And then I don't know how many followers I have in reality life sio za Instagram yeah. and the people who love my music like across East Africa wanaweza kuwa zaidi ya 5 milioni 50 in reality sio wale wa kufollow sio watu kwenye simu na Instagram awesome. so you're telling my followers like, this guy is nothing he's he's using drugs without explaining what kind of drugs he's using without giving more details labda mimi na substance zangu nakula sana panadol nini valium you know you have to say that so unaambia hivyo come on you're killing the brand uli uli lazimisho kusema kwamba ni kweli natumia <laughs> that was bad moment i can't recall it nimekamatwa nimekaa ndani siku tano ukiwa ndani siku tano maana yake ni you been you been like under arrest Okay. You can do anything they ask you to do. Uh. How was your mom then? Alichukuli alichukulia. Mm, it was terrifying. The devastation ya family ya sasa inaona kabisa kwamba tumempoteza jamaa na fungwa maisha yake yote. Mziki hadi sasa hivi tunafanya mziki unajua ni kwa uwezo wa Mungu na kipaji kabisa. Lakini watu they gave up on you. Tunakuwa na wewe una akili kabisa. All these things you did we were killing Tanzania on our awards and nini you're nothing but a drug abuser you're zero in your business is done nobody want to work with you no company want to work with somebody like you I'm trying to karibu hiyo na niya kuyami ni haribia maisha yangu it was it, it's still bad to me hadi sasa hivi ni mbaya kwangu eh watu wengine wanataka kunipa madili kibao my endorsement lakini wakikutana na ile jamaa ah, jamaa huyu kuna hajui what went down ha eh? unachukuliwa na polisi ni nini unapeleka unalazimishwa kuojiwa ah lakini namshukuru Mungu I've passed that and I'm still here I'm alive and I'm working akila mtu anaona kabisa I am not under influence of drugs this is my favorite drug <laughs> the cocktail it is <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs>
Kujua kesi zetu za miziki zingine zina jealous mbaya sana. Mimi shai kumdate girlfriend wangu mmoja hivi. Kumbe yeye alikuwa na date na jamaa mwingine, alafu sio mtanzania, he's an American. Mimi naenda na lala kwake nini anani? Akiamka asubuhi na mbaya, baby I bought you a car. I'm like, what? You gave me a car? Na endesha kichisi yani na ball town. Wewe. Asubuhi <laughs> nimelala asubuhi na una jamaa kaingia na mlango. <laughs> Katua na bomba, watoto wadogo. <laughs> I was shrinking. Asa huzuri wenyewe si unajua mimi nalala. Mimi si mtu wa taekwondo kila sana kuambia nini tatizo lako bwana. <laughs> Sasa wenye taekwondo walali na kuchupi kwa. Ah. Unielewi? Mimi nalala kama ninja. Tutondo. Sasa kwa nimeisha. Nidisha bana sana. Oh. Wo. Cat. Ndio nayo papa. mtu. Like six feet. kizuri ambacho mimi nikamjua jamaa huyu sio mwanzetu alikuwa na ile walking tag. Kasoma fast up and say, ah, we will be from Okay. I'll shoot you. I shoot, I'll shoot you. I shoot. You sleeping with my woman? Who are you? So the man in Gianni, come the man of Fungu, the killer kid. Let them, ah, please, please, don't do that. I'll shoot you. 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 I'll shoot mata kondo zimen saidia sana. Tini, ulikuwa chini ya uvungu. Bwana. Hiyo story. Nili shrink. Nikatoa mobile yangu kajifanya nampigia. Bwana, nikajifanya master. Eh, kumbe master kalala simu haipokei wala nini. Unaongea peke yako. Naongea peke yangu. Master, bwana jo faster. Uko na mwelekeza. Jamaa aliacha upenyo kidogo. Anamwambia yule, "Give me my keys." Bwana kumbe mipira yote jamaa ananunua ile magari yote mimi napewa magari na Paul nini? Give me kakis. Jamaa anataka kufanya kakis. I saw the very narrow opportunity, narrow from the other side. I say. Wadinzi, I'm sure it's what. Penya sha. Nikakimbia kwa gari. Jamaa get a mlizi. Hana ni uwa. Mlizi alivofungua get sha. Na mpira wake. Na gari langu. Ah okay. Mimi gari yangu nilikuwa nalipaki kwenye parking yake mimi naondoka na gari. Kanipa gari. Come on. Toka siku hiyo nikasema mimi I'm not alone. My brother saved me. Alivosikia master. Master sasa alipata zile habari akaja pale akakuta nothing is there. Kila mtu kaondoka. Sasa mimi baadaye naanza ku recall nasema ah kuna huyu demo na girlfriend ana na boyfriend ambaye anaishi naye. Mimi I'm not safe. These people will kill me. These people are doing big for these women. Mm-hmm. And these women are trying to play me. They want to put me in a love triangle. <laughs> I watch this series every day in an investigation channel. People get killed for this. Uh-huh. Ah, nilikula kona. <laughs> Do you love it what on apokona wewe kama comedian? People love me for every character I'm trying to bring. Niki act kama boyfriend or Mona Lisa kwenye girlfriend they like me. Nikiek to come at TID the presenter of the radio year 92.9 they love me they love any character i create because i am their picture mm-hmm. they want to watch me but tanzania wananielewa kichizi kwa ukiona zile video zako zinatembea si umesema sema nini na hizo zinaenda vizuri sana they even give me an opportunity to have another life katika hii muziki mhm yeah i'm coming out with my tv shows i want to come with my action comedy movies There's a lot to be done kwenye hii industry ambapo vitu vingine hawana hiyo knowledge na hawana hiyo talent ya kufanya. Tumalize cuz hatuna 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 time sana. Lakini nataka tumzungumzie Ngwea. Marehem, Mwenyezi Mungu amrehemu huko alipo. You guys are really close. Um kama hautojali nitaka uniambie ile siku ilikuwa wapi na kuna siku ambayo inaenda kwa Mwenyezi Mungu ambayo haumkumbuki? Naanza na swali la pili. Hmm ili ili ili, ili inanigaribu vipi kila siku ya Mungu kama simkumbuki kwa yeye It's not fair We were very close Hakuna siku itapita there must be an interactions between mimi na yeye kwa maisha yake kwa lolote lile Sengine unaweza kusikia tamziki unapiga kwenye radio 
sa nyingine just reflect with the story somebody just told you you've been there and he's still there siku ambayo nilipata ile habari you know you have to know the fact that ngwea alitakiwa kwenda na mimi kwenye tour ile mimi nikaenda mwenyewe mara kwanza because yeye hakuwa na passport so tuka fight mimi nilivorudi tuka fight passport it was my deal so we are kind of south africa so we, we were keeping in touch asa hiyo juma tatu hiyo ndo napigiwa napigiwa simu south africa bwana niko na ngwea hospitali hapa bwana mimi tidi m to the pika zima ngwea na atuelewe yali yake lakini wanasema kafariki it was a very devastating news i've ever had in my whole life nilienda kwenye gari kwanza nilisikia kama nina baridi nikakaa peke yangu hivi nikachukua simu nikaanza kupiga sasa wale watu wa sauzi man imagine salama kila mtu anayempigia anakuambia the same story ah ngwe amefariki ah ngwe amefariki bwana mbona jamaa ah ngwe ame... ai 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 tulikuwa tuna plan nyingi tulikuwa tuna tv show tunaitwa top show tulishafanya mpaka demos tulisha peleka sasa we had a lot i'm sorry mungu amlazi pepe pepe amen he was a very good friend he was very very talented boy mipango ya mungu twice kwa ngia lolote yeah alhamdulillah kwa kila kitu maisha yake yamekufundisha nini maisha yake amelifundisha kwamba niendelee kuwa vile vile top in da nisije associate na watu ambao siwajui nisiende south africa nikaenda kufanya concert alafu nikaishi na watu tu ambao hata siwajui in their house we just can't trust anybody you just can't you have to be yourself kama any artist you have to live in conditions that protects you kama utakao tele hotel hiyo utakudisha apartment apartment unadhani kuko kuna foul prop- play foul play inaweza kawepo tukasema kwa sababu hatu, hatujui what happened mm-hmm. there's something we don't know lakini Mungu ataleta ukweli one day okay so tunakaribia kumaliza nataka unaambia kitu ambacho kinakuchekesha <laughs> vitu vingi vinanichekesha sana unapenda kucheka nikicheka that means um, my life is doing good sasa ingine nakonga na situation na shindo kucheka na concentrate na vitu muhimu sana na una vifanyiki na shindo kwa na amani na shindo I like to work. Mm-hmm. I like to work, I like to make changes because I believe in my talent. A few artists in this country have this ability. And I'm the one, I'm choosing one. I can entertain people in a different ways. Watu chache sana wanaweza kufanya hivyo. Ninapocheka na maana kwamba Everything is cool. Everything is back to normal. We go, we all good. We happy. Yeah. Like before I was coming here, nilikuwa kwenye DSTV, nilikuwa naangalia Studio Studio Universe channel. I was watching this movie yeah, Kevin McCarthy, yule dogo kwenye Home Alone. Mm-hmm. Inaitwa Rich Rich. Mm-hmm. His father was the richest guy in the world in any. Lakini he's a rich guy with a big brain trying to protect his father's assets lakini nilipenda kuangalia movie imenichekesha kichizi nice yeah so not always you will good guy kuna ma bad guys wanaitwa ma villains mm-hmm. ndo kama hivyo sasa kama chidi benza anavonichekesha kwa sababu mimi unajua ndo good guy of chidi benza like a villain unajua kama movie ya superman lazima kuna kati ya superman anavosaidia watu jamaa mmoja mbaya hivi anataka kama kuharibu dunia yeah. that is chidi benza <laughs> I'm always a good guy. Atakuja hapa. Ah please, we swam here. Sasa nitafute mafuti. Yo, again, nataka nikwambie kitu kabla tujamaliza. Um wakati mwingine eh, kuna vitu ambavyo vinatokezea katika maisha yetu ambavyo huwezi kuvibadilisha. Um wewe kukasirika au kununa ama kupanic hakuwezi kubadilisha outcome ya hiko kitu kwamba pengine kisikusikitishe ama kisikukere. Uh, badala yake hata ukikasirika ama ukizira ama ukifanyaje situation itaendelea kuwa vile vile. Uh-huh. So katika situation kama hizo 
mimi na kuomba ujue kwamba iko hivyo hata ukikasirika usipocheka eh, haitobadilisha kichochote na ukicheka maisha yanaongezeka alafu ukicheka unapendeza kichizi so tafuta tafuta hilo tabasamu mara kwa mara kwa sababu linakufanya ungare na kungara ndo kitu ambacho wewe umeumbiwa okay thank you for Asana, coming Asana, my Asana, brother you are such a great person thank you so much for coming we really appreciate all of us na tunakutakia kila laheri katika kila kitu ambacho unafanya kitafanikiwa all right Asante sana. God bless you my brother man. And God bless you too. Okay, so that was my brother. Mimi nakushukuru wewe kwa kuangalia. Kwa lolote unaweza kututazama kupitia Twitter, Instagram au Facebook kama una maoni na kitu chochote unaweza kutuandikia huko. Jina letu ni Aston Town. I hope umejifunza mawili matatu kutoka kwa Topping Down kwa niaba yake na kila mtu huko ndani. Take care and peace and love. Vipovya la wa masio shida Vipovya kupoteza sio muda Wenuka na ukimbize ndoto ah ah Kupati aina maana huko sei Kiburi kinafanya tujongei Tuna aka wapya kila day yeah yeah So ila kufika una why Chosen na mfuta na i cry Dependa na mungu na fry Yeah Yeah Me he see he touch could complain See he touch could complain Mungu ana bless is okay Mungu ana bless Yeah